welcome to our Vista training series. It's our goal with this training series to get you up and running quickly on the Vista platform. We're going to start with our first video, an introduction to console hardware. This section of the console is called the Super Playback. It's comprised of a number of different areas. You have the Programmer Master, the Live Time Control, as you slide this up and down, you'll see live time change. You'll have your master play button, pause button, forward and back keys, skip back, skip forward keys. Above the playback controls are your encoders. Encoders can be used for a multitude of different things. For instance, if I press IPOS, it allows me to have control of intensity, pan and tilt, or intensity, strobe, and shutter. If I toggle it again, it changes me back to the other mode. If I press color, it allows me to have controls of cyan, magenta, and yellow. If I press color again, it allows me to see my red, green, blue controls. And if I press it again, I get my hue, saturation, and value controls. One quick note, if you hold down one of these hotkeys, you can jump between the different modes along the bottom line. For instance, if you want to go directly to CMY mixing, just press the CMY key. It'll take you right into cyan, magenta, yellow. The next control I'd like to show you is the gobo control. It allows you to have control of the wheel, the slot, and the index. Again, you can toggle through these modes. The final control I'd like to show you is beam. This allows you to have control of iris, zoom, and focus. If you toggle, you'll have your frost control, and if you continue to toggle, you'll have your blade controls for your shuttering fixtures. Again, if you hold down on beam and press the hotkey below, it'll take you directly to the focus section. The next thing I'd like to show you are your playback controls in the Super Playback. You'll access those playback controls by hitting Menu, and then the Play button. To load a cue list in this section, you can press the Load button and choose above any playback that's live. Here we've loaded test 3. If we'd like to make our test 3 cue list a chase, we can just turn on chase. We can set rate, we can set forward, reverse, bounce, or random, or we can press the sync button for a tap speed. Next we have our smart effects controls. These will allow you to set a speed by tapping sync, change the direction of a smart effect that's running. These encoders will allow you to change the size, speed, and offset. In our standard control mode, you'll have adjustments for rate. You'll be able to jump to a different cue by pressing the jump button, release, or you can use this as a select button. Additionally, when programming, I'll take us back to our programming menu, these will act as your next and back buttons while focusing or trying to highlight fixtures. The next button will allow you to forward through your selection. The back button will allow you to reverse through your selection. If you press both buttons together, it will select all the previously selected fixtures. And one other thing, if you're using the encoders to control a feature, you can use them to raise the intensity or change the pan and tilt. Additionally, if you'd like some hot keys, you can reach up, press the two buttons above. Full will bring your intensity to full. Home will bring your intensity to zero. Pressing them together will bring you to 50%. This method works for all controls throughout the programming section of the Vista. The next section of the console I'd like to show you is playbacks. Every version of the Vista has a set of playbacks. The only difference is that the M1 does not have a display. Let me show you your different controls. At the top of the list, you have your select button. Next down, you have a play button for that master. Pressing it will play through your cues. Finally, we have our intensity master for that playback and the flash button. All of these buttons can be assigned in the console window. The last thing I'd like to show you are your page controls. You can page up and down. 
The Vista has unlimited pages. Different hardware chassis will allow you to have more playbacks or less playbacks. For instance, on the M1 you'll have five playbacks with no display. On the S1 you'll have five playbacks with a display. On the S3 you'll have ten playbacks. On the T2 you'll have ten playbacks stacked. And on the L5 you'll have twenty playbacks. For additional playbacks you have five faderless playbacks. These playbacks don't have faders. All the other controls work the same way. You have your play buttons, your select buttons, and your page up and down controls. The only consoles that have faderless playbacks are the L5, the T4, the T2, and the S3. This is the center section of the Vista hardware. If you're using an L5, a T4, or a T2, your screen size will change, but most of the other things will seem familiar. You'll have your keyboard. On the L5, they've added a nice numeric keypad on the end. You'll have your mouse. You'll have your LR button, which will allow you to right-click using the stylus. You'll have your modifier keys. Remember, red is shift, yellow is control, green is alt, and blue is control alt. You'll have your F1 through F12 keys, which will correspond to your F1 through F12 keys on the keyboard, which corresponds to the tools in the Vista toolbar. Jans has added modifier keys on the right-hand side and the left-hand side. So if you're left-handed or right-handed, controls will be in the right place. The final thing I'd like to show you is the Grand Master. On the Vista, the Grand Master is a knob. You can roll it left to turn it off or roll it right to turn it all the way up. Beside the Grand Master on all versions of the Vista is the Dead Blackout button, also known as DBO. If you press it, your whole rig will go to black for the duration that you hold it. When you let go, your rig will come back. 